Hello friends, this video on reproduction in organisms part 14 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now the last set of events that is the post fertilization event. So now fusion also happened, zygote is also formed. What will happen after that? Okay. So the set of events that take place after the formation of zygote because zygote formation was the result of fertilization. Now zygote is formed but zygote is not the new offspring right. So when will what will happen to this zygote now so that it develops into a new individual. So what all changes will take place now. So zygote basically is a diploid cell and it is nothing but the fertilized egg. So the same egg becomes a zygote when the sperm enters into it. Since it becomes diploid, so it is nothing but a diploid fertilized egg. So zygote is a single cell that gradually develops into individual. Now how it develops into individual? By repeated number of cell division and by cell differentiation. So the question is how exactly does the zygote develop? So now let us see how the zygote develops in haplontic life cycle. Now if you all remember when we spoke about the alternation of generations, I told you that there are certain plants in their, in their life cycle, the haploid phase is more dominant and they are called haplontic. They are said to have haplontic life cycle. So here in the diagram, you can see that this uh, pink shade denotes the haploid stage. So you see that most of the time it is in the haploid phase and comparatively for lesser time it is in the diploid state, which is uh, marked in blue. So how the zygote develops in case of a, in case of those which has haplontic life cycles, the zygote divides by meiosis. So see here after syngamy that is fusion, so gametogenosis. See the gametogenosis which we spoke about. First the gamete formation take place. So male and female gametes are formed. They both fuse together. So syngamy takes place that is fertilization. So the diploid zygote is formed. Now what happens to this diploid zygote? So this undergoes meiosis and it forms haploid spores. So that is why you see 2N changes to N. So the zygote will divide by meiosis to form haploid spores and these haploid spores will then gradually grow into haploid individuals. So if you see here, these are again haploid individuals. So the zygote undergoes meiosis, it forms haploid spores. These haploid spores will grow into haploid individual. So that is how the zygote develops into, so these are what? These are nothing but the offsprings. So they are haploid individuals. Right? Now these haploid individuals later become mature and they, they are able to undergo gametogenosis. That is they are able to produce gametes. So this is how the zygote develops in haplontic life cycle. So the zygote development is up to this phase. So this portion represents the zygote development into a gametophyte. So the haploid individuals in this case are called gametophyte. Now let us look at how zygote develops in a diplontic life cycle where most of the time the uh, organism is in the diploid phase. So here if you see only for some time it is in the haploid phase. So what happens here? Where is the zygote? So this is the zygote. So till here it is all the same. The gametogenesis happens, gametes are formed, they undergo syngamy and then zygote is formed. Now this zygote does not undergo meiosis in this case. The zygote directly forms the gametes by meiosis. So here the zygote directly forms the sporophyte which is a diploid. So this sporophyte then undergo gametogenesis. That is, this sporophyte then directly undergo meiosis to produce the gametes, right? So here the zygote does not form, uh, I mean it does not form spores or something. The zygote directly forms the sporophyte which in turn directly form the gametes. So the zygote itself does not undergo any meiosis. So that is how the zygote develops in a uh, diplontic life cycle. What about haplodiplontic life cycle where half of the time it is in the haploid phase and the remaining half it is in the diploid phase. So what happens in that scenario? So in this case you can see this is your zygote. 
right so the zygote again does not undergo meiosis it forms the sporophyte which in turn forms the meiosis basically the zygote development phase is the diploid phase so this side this side is diploid so in haplodiplontic and in diplontic the zygote development happens in a similar way to some extent right so this is how zygote develops or the development of zygote takes place once it is formed after fertilization so it either undergo meiosis to form haploid spores which later form individual or it directly forms the sporophyte that is the individual which in turn undergo meiosis to form the spores thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online test get free study material find tutors and mentors thank you once again